In this video, we are going to talk about most popular wine regions. So before starting this video like this video. And subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. Every year we find more nations creating wine. For example, did you had at least some idea there are great plantations in the Gobi Desert? There's no question that exceptional wine locales are charming, however which are the top wine creating nations on the planet? Prepared to have your brain blown? Only 10 nations are delivering 80% of the wine in the world. Your psyche is blown. We should investigate the top wine delivering districts of the world. Top Wine Regions of the World The best four significant wine locales of the world are France, Italy, USA, and Spain. They produce simply over portion of all the wine on the planet. The four top wine nations make sufficient wine to fill 5,771 Olympic-sized pools. Number 10, Cape Winelands, South Africa. South Africa is notable for its wine locale which is a top fascination in the country among voyagers. It takes short of what one hour to drive from Cape Town to the town of Stellenbosch which is encircled by grape plantations. Stellenbosch flaunts multifaceted Cape Dutch engineering and 130 wine homes to look over for a visit or tasting. Alongside Stellenbosch, the towns of Parl and Franschhoek make up the Cape Winelands. The best chance to visit this wine district is from September to April when the weather conditions is dry and numerous classic wines are recently accessible. Number 9 Marlborough District, New Zealand The Marlborough wine locale is by a long shot New Zealand's biggest, representing three-quarters of the nation's wine creation, 70% of its grape plantation region and 85% of its wine sends out. Wine sweethearts can't visit New Zealand without making a stop in the Marlborough locale for a wine sampling. New Zealand's unmistakable wine is Sauvignon Blanc so make certain to request a glass of this while going here. The dirts in the Wairau Valley and the wine-developing regions encompassing Blenheim are principally free-depleting alluvial rock. The valley is arranged between the Richmond Ranges toward the north and the Wither Hills toward the south, which shield it from outrageous weather patterns. These two elements make the valley ideal for viticulture. The environment is generally bright and warm in summer and pre-winter, bringing about a long developing season, and the cool evening ocean breezes give the temperature variety expected to great characterful wines. Number 8, Mapo Valley, Chile. Mapo Valley is one of Chile's most significant wine-creating locales. Found only south of the capital, Santiago, Mapo Valley is home to a portion of the country's most lofty wines. It is many times depicted as the Bordeaux of South America, and rich, natural product-driven Cabernet Sauvignon is without a doubt its most celebrated wine style. Mapo is at the exceptionally northern finish of Chile's broad central valley, running from only north of the Rappel Valley up to where the field starts to give approach to houses and streets in the southern rural areas of Santiago. The coastal range isolates the region from the Pacific coast, and on the eastern side, the Andes Mountains rise unexpectedly and emphatically, isolating Mapo from the Argentinian area of Mendoza. Number 7 Mendoza, Argentina Mendoza is by a long shot the biggest wine locale in Argentina. Situated on a high height level at the edge of the Andes Mountains, the region is liable for approximately 70% of the country's yearly wine creation. The French grape assortment Malbec has its new world home in the grape plantations of Mendoza, creating red wines of extraordinary fixation and force. The territory lies on the western edge of Argentina, across the Andes Mountains from Chile. While the region is enormous, it covers a comparable region to the territory of New York, its viticultural land is bunched primarily in the northern part, only south of Mendoza City. Mendoza's winemaking history is close to as old as the provincial history of Argentina itself. The primary plants were planted by ministers of the Catholic Church's Jesuit request during the 16th century, acquiring agrarian strategies from the Incas and Warpies, who had involved the land before them. Number 6, Barassa Valley, Australia. The Barassa Valley area is found northeast of the city of Adelaide. The GI district is 578 square kilometers in size and has a sum of 11,609 hectares of grape plantations. This district has warm grape developing regions on the valley floor and cooler mesoenvironments at higher elevations in the encompassing slopes. The principal assortments filled in the locale are Shiraz, Cabernet Sauvignon, and Greenwich. 
There are inconceivable wine districts on practically every landmass all over the planet, making it simple for wine sweethearts to visit a top-level grape plantation on their next trip. Whether they're making a beeline for Africa, South America, Europe, North America, or Oceania, there's an opportunity to taste scrumptious wines while neglecting the grape plantations where the grapes were gathered. These are the 10 best wine locales on the planet and the best season to book a visit and tasting. The best Barasan wines sit serenely close by the extraordinary wines of the world. Barasa Shiraz and Eden Valley Riesling have driven the way as territorial legends, with Cabernet Sauvignon, Mataro, Greenwich, Semillon and Fortified's wines generally adding to Barasa's remaining as one of the world's extraordinary wine areas. Number 5. La Rioja, Spain. La Rioja is a wine locale in northern Spain that is basically well known for its red wine. Their most unmistakable grape is the Tempranillo. Spanish Rioja wines are normally to some degree sweet and not really dry. They will generally have an elevated degree of corrosiveness. The locale has a wine battle at a late spring celebration in June and a grape collect in September, making the mid-year and late summer the best times to visit. Number 4. Douro Valley, Portugal. The Douro Valley wine locale is a pearl of Portugal and is inside driving distance of Porto. Douro Valley is most popular for its development of port wine, the sustained wine intended for the northern locale of the country. Port wine is sweet and is many times filled in as a pastry wine to complete a dinner. The best opportunity to visit Porto and require a road trip to Douro Valley for a sample of this delectable beverage is in April and May. This is a charming opportunity to investigate the region without extraordinary summer heat or thick hordes of sightseers. Number 3, Napa Valley, CA, United States. Napa Valley is found north of San Francisco, California, on the west shoreline of the United States. The locale is popular for the many grape plantations and Michelin star cafes. Napa Valley is generally notable for its Cabernet Sauvignon wines, which represent 40% of the locale's wine creation. The level of the traveler season in Napa Valley lines up with the reap season, which runs from August to October. For the individuals who need an excellent wine sampling experience, these are the months to visit. Notwithstanding, explorers who are wanting to get away from the groups ought to visit in spring, from March to May. Number 2, Bordeaux, France. Numerous explorers head to France to see Paris, yet wine darlings realize Bordeaux is the spot to be. Bordeaux is a port city in southwestern France that produces elite red wines. More than 90% of the wines from this locale are reds, either Merlot or Cabernet Sauvignon. Like the vast majority of Europe, the most agreeable months to visit France are May to November. Nonetheless, explorers expecting to encounter the grape gather ought to design their outing for September. Number 1, Tuscany, Italy. Tuscany is a fantasy objective for explorers looking for a heartfelt night, tasting wine, neglecting grape plantations as the sun is setting. The area basically develops Sangiovese red grapes which highlight in most red wines from Tuscany, including Merlots and Cabernet Sauvignons. Probably the most customary Tuscan red wines incorporate Vino Nobile di Montepulciano and Brunello di Montalcino. While more uncommon, white wines additionally emerge from this district, produced using the Vermentino grape which is local to Tuscany. May to October are the pinnacle season to go to Tuscany due to the hotter temperatures and clear skies. Nonetheless, September to October implies less groups and an opportunity to encounter the grape collect. What do you think about this video? Do let us know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.